We're talking with James Henry Russell, who's the president of Texarkana College. And, man, thanks for joining us. I appreciate you doing this. You're very welcome. All right. On Monday afternoon, 12 noon, you guys had a public hearing about a proposed tax increase. Talk about how that went. It went very well. Uh, we had a low turnout, uh, and we always would like to see more because, obviously, we want to make sure we're matching the needs of the community. And the only way we can do that is if we hear from the community. We had about... Um, Oh, I three citizens. A couple were actually employees, uh, but one a citizen actually came from the general community and actually was a citizen that was here about two years ago and had a few questions. And what was the overall response, you think, from the ones that showed up today? Well, the one that showed up today really was talking about the expansion of the Texarkana Tax District. He uh, thinks it's very small compared to the rest of the state, and he's absolutely right. We have the smallest taxing district of any community college uh, in the state of Texas and, and a very, very small tax base. And in today's times, community colleges are having to rely much more on local tuition and local taxes to cash flow. The state reimbursements are not at the level where they used to be. And his question was, why have we not moved sooner to expand the tax base of Texarkana College? And it, it's a good question. The deal is with Texarkana College for so many years, this has been an incredible value to this community, and it's going to stay that way. But the board here has not wanted to increase the taxing district. Obviously, no one wants to increase taxes. So uh, I think Texarkana College has strung it out about as long as possible in the current situation that it is. And it is something within the next 12 months that I believe you'll see Texarkana College looking at and attempt to go to the voters and ask them if they're willing to pay a small amount to help keep Texarkana College uh, funded and strong into the future and that was my next question is exactly why are why is the college looking at this tax increase is it because of is, is enrollment down or is it just more expensive to run a college today than it used to be uh, yes and yes if you look at a 10-year trend on, on state revenue, you will see that it has been going down. And again, the pressure has been on the local community to fund the community colleges. We've also had a small dip in enrollment just over the last year or so. Right now, though, if you look at today's numbers compared to last year the year before, we're up almost 500 students. Now, will that continue to trend that way two weeks until the first day of school? Uh, you just never know. But the main reason is, uh, is that you don't have the contact hour reimbursement that you used to have from the state of Texas. In the past, all you really were concerned about were getting students, and then that state reimbursement was going to be here. Again, now that pressure is on local tuition and taxes. And, you know, community college taxes are, are low, but we're all tired of paying taxes. I'm pay, tired of paying taxes. Jeff, I know you're tired mm -hmm. of paying taxes. Mm -hmm. And we want to make sure that, that we are providing the service that the community needs. For a typical $75,000 house, the tax for Texture Cannon College is $75. That's a year. That, that's not a month. That's not a quarter. That's $75 for the year. So you really are talking about a small uh, tax, and if we could spread that out to our service area, which is about 1,800 square miles, compared to our taxing district of 16 square miles. And again, what we tax is about 16 square miles. What we serve is 1,800 square miles, and that doesn't even account Arkansas and the other areas. We just need to spread this out a little bit, get a little bit of help from a lot of people, and Texarkana College will remain strong well into the future. What is the relationship between Texarkana College and Texas A&M? Because I think in some people's minds in the community, uh, they're really not seeing the, the difference in two. I know for myself it's a little confusing because I went to school when uh, TC was there and East Texas State was across the street. You went to TC for two, then you went across the street to East Texas for two. Uh, it's not like that anymore, is it? You know, I, I would say a lot of our students at Texarkana College may be starting out part-time students. They may not have that clear of a path to where they're going to ultimately end up. Maybe they're needing to start out a little bit slower. We also have all the workforce programs here that obviously the four-year university doesn't offer. So while there definitely are some similarities, there's also some differences. You know, there's no better value than community colleges anywhere in the state of Texas with the economy in the current shape that it is. 
I think you're going to see the enrollment at community colleges continue to go up. I, I think I've even heard on your show a few times to talk about the amount of debt a typical student is graduating from college with right now. They're having a hard time finding a job. The jobs aren't paying that well, and they're saddled with an enormous amount of college debt that it takes them pretty much the rest of their life to pay off. Yeah, Starting you're... out at a community college is the most efficient route that a person can choose, especially if they don't have their path clearly mapped out. Oh, I agree. I mean, starting at a community college, I think, is one of the best things a person can do, even from an athletic standpoint. Of course, at TC, you got a great baseball program, great softball program. Uh, now he's got a pretty good golf program as well. And to me, even as an athlete, starting off at the, at the community college level, at the JC level, is to me a great path to take. No question about that, and we're certainly going to work on our student life aspect uh, this year. I want Texarkana College to provide a great education. I want it to be a, a great value, but we also want it to be fun. And I'm not sure that we've taken advantage of the great uh, athletic offerings that we have along with the academics. So hopefully you're going to help me promote, get a lot of people out to our games and support our athletes because it's a great value to come watch, and it's it's very high quality. I agree with that 100%. James James Henry Russell, president of TC. Man, thank you for doing this. I appreciate it. Anytime. Thank you.